This is the third and final video in our order of operations notes. We're going to finish the last two problems in our notes, so let's get started. Remember the first thing I want to do is to write PEMDAS just as a reminder to me what I need to solve first and uh, the order that I am going in. So I'm going to look at this problem and I notice that it's written as a fraction with a fraction bar. So I'm going to have to solve what's on top and then what's on bottom to get my fraction. So let's look at the top first. We'll focus on the top right here. I have 2 squared times 7 plus 14. Well, in my first step, I want to look at that and say, hey, do I have any parentheses? If I have anything inside of parentheses, I want to solve that first. Well, there are no parentheses, so I don't need to worry about that. No brackets, don't need to worry about that. Now I'm going to look and see if there are any exponents. And I do notice that I have some exponents uh, or at least one exponent, I have 2 squared. So I need to solve 2 squared. Well, remember, 2 squared is the same thing as 2 times 2, which equals 4. So I'm going to have 4 times 7 plus 14, and I'm still going to write everything. Even though I'm only focusing on the top right now, I'm going to write everything. So I need to look at what I wrote in my step one line and say, okay, so did I get rid of all the exponents? Yes, I did. I solved all the exponents. I don't have to worry about those anymore. Now I'm going to look for multiplication and division. If I see any multiplication and division, that's what I need to solve. Well, as I look, I see 4 times 7 right here. So that's what I need to solve in step two. 4 times 7 is 28, so I'll write that, and then I need to write everything else exactly as it was before. So I'm going to look at my step 2 line, and I'm going to say, okay, did I take care of all of the multiplication and division problems in there? Yeah, I did. All the multiplication and division signs or symbols are taken care of, so I'm done with multiplying and dividing. Now I'm looking for addition or subtraction, and I see two addition problems. So I'm going to solve the one that I see first. The one that I see first is on top. So in step three, I'm going to do 28 plus 14. 28 plus 14 is going to give me 42. So I know I will have 42 on the top and 5 plus 2 on the bottom. So again, I'm going to look at my step 3 line and I'm going to say, hey, did I take care of all of the addition and subtraction signs in my problem? Well, I actually did not. I did not take care of all of them. I still have one more addition symbol left here. So that's what I need to take care of in step 4. So I'm going to have to solve 5 plus 2. Well, 5 plus 2 is 7. So I'm going to write 42 over 7. And I'm noticing uh, that my answer is an improper fraction here. 42 over 7. Which means I can simplify. I can simplify this improper fraction by dividing both the top and the bottom by 7. That will give me 6 over 1, which is the same thing as 6. And so my answer to this problem is 6. Sometimes you will be given an order of operations problem that's already been solved, but it's been solved incorrectly. And you need to be able to identify in which step the mistake first appeared and explain what misunderstanding caused that mistake. When you see a problem like this, the easiest way to approach it is to solve the problem yourself off to the side and then compare what you did to the steps that that person did in their problem. 
and then you can identify any differences or mistakes and figure out how to fix them. So what we're going to do to solve this or to explain where the problem is, where the misunderstanding is, is we're going to go ahead and solve this order of operations problem off to the side. So why don't you set it up off to the side, solve it yourself, and uh, then press play and see if you got it right. So set it up off to the side, press pause, solve it, and then press play to check. Now that we have solved the order of operations problem, we need to compare what we did to what the person who made the mistake did and see if we can figure out where they made their mistake. So let's look at the step one lines. They did, uh, they did what was inside of the parentheses first. They changed negative six, or not negative 16, 16 minus eight to eight, good. So they solved that. And so it looks like that line is the same. So these are the same, we're good. Then we have these lines, step two for them, looks good. Hmm. So as I compare these two, I'm noticing a problem. Here they have eight squared, and we have 16 divided by four. Well, we know that we solved the problem correctly because we followed PEMDAS. The step where the mistake was made for them is step three. Now we need to figure out why. What did this person do incorrectly? Now, what they did incorrectly was they did 16 divided by 2 before they solved their exponent. So they divided before they solved their exponent. And in PEMDAS, you should always solve the exponents first. So guys, make sure that you answer your summary questions. And remember, they need to be in complete sentences. Also, I want to draw your attention to something a little new which is down here at the bottom under questions I have. If you do not have a question you feel like you understand, then you need to come up with your own order of operations problem for your group to solve in class and bring it to class tomorrow.